Teacher of Science Does the word science make you think of high-tech labs and researchers in white course? This is often an adequate image of science, but not always. If you look up science in a dictionary, you would find that it comes from a Latin word that means having knowledge. However, this is not an adequate definition either. So, what is science? So, science is more about gaining knowledge. That it is about simply having knowledge. Science is a way of learning about the natural world that is based on evidence and logic. In other words, science is a process, not just a body of facts. Through the process of science, our knowledge of the world advances. The goal of science. Scientists may focus on every different aspects of the natural world. For example, some scientists focus on the world of tiny objects such as atoms and molecules. Other scientists devote their attentions to huge objects such as the sun and other stars. But all scientists have at least one thing in common. They want to understand how and why things happen. Achieving this understanding is the goal of science. Have you ever experienced the thrill of an exciting fireworks show? Fireworks show how the goal of science leads to discovery. Fireworks were invented at least 2000 years ago in China. But explaining how and why they work did not happen until much later. It was not until scientists had learned about elements and chemical reactions that they could explain what caused fireworks to create brilliant bursts of light and deep rumbling booms. Fireworks were invented long before scientists could actually explain how and why they explored. How science advances Sometimes learning about science is frustrating because scientific knowledge is always changing. But that's also what makes science exciting. Occasionally, science moves forward in chain steps. More commonly, however, science advances in baby steps. Chain steps in science may occur if a scientist introduces a major new idea. For example, in 1666, Isaac Newton introduced the idea that the gravity is universal. People had long known that things fall to the ground because they are attracted by Earth. But Newton proposed that everything in the universe exerts a force of attraction on everything else. This idea is known as Newton's laws of universal gravitation. How do you think Newton's law of universal gravitation might have influenced the advancement of science? Newton's laws help scientists predict the motion of many other objects. It helps them study the motion of objects as they fall down towards the ground or roll downhill. It was further applied to the larger objects and advanced our understanding of why the planets in our solar system orbit the sun or why the moon orbits the earth. Baby steps in science occurs as small bits of evidence gradually accumulate. The accumulating evidence lets scientists define and expand on earlier ideas. For example, the scientific idea of the atom was introduced in the early 1800s. But the scientists came to understand the structure of the atom only as evidence accumulated over the next two centuries. Their understanding of atomic structures continues to expand today. The advancement of science is sometimes a very bumpy road. New knowledge and the ideas are not always accepted at first, and scientists may be mocked for their ideas. Summary Science is a way of learning about the natural world that is based on evidence and logic. The goal of science is to understand how and why things happen. Science advances as new evidences accumulates and allows scientists to replace, refine, or expand on accepted ideas about the natural world.